and this can tell you it's successful and you can go on the Solana Explorer and see that transaction loaded. Once it's confirmed, come here again to the mainnet, you should see now we have Solana. Hello and welcome to my channel again. Today I'll be talking about or I'll be demonstrating how you can get free soul and this is Solana to your wallet for example and this is for development purposes. This is not free Solana for like real Solana that you can exchange and become real currency in your wallet. This is just for develop, uh, for development or in simple terms you can use this uh, token Solana tokens to interact with uh, decentralized apps, dApps or you can use it to develop yours and test them using uh, fake Solana and before you deploy it and actually use uh, real Solana so this right here this is Solana and I'll show you guys how to get this free Solana so you can spend them on prototypes or apps that you build in in that case so I've chosen two options here as uh, SPL token faucet.com and there's also solfaucet.com so those are two websites that you can get free development uh, tokens uh, Solana tokens to your wallet and if you, for those who are not familiar with Solana tokens uh, or just Phantom or exactly just how do you even get Solana, how do you even get a Phantom wallet in this case, because I keep referring to it and this logo right here is the Phantom wallet. I have a link of video below that I made about how to install a Solana wallet, how to download it, how to set it up and how to get it running. I'll link the video below if you're interested in watching how to do that first and then once you have that you can come uh, and follow on to the next portion of this uh, tutorial that I'll be talking about. So I'll start with the Sol Farset of how to get your Solana from here. So from here you can see you can set up how many Solana you want to get. I'll just set it as one and I want it on DevNet. So in Solana you have the option of uh, setting your network. So let's start here. So I'll go to the main network right here. So right now we are in Dev uh, developer mode. Um, if you wanna, if you log into your wallet, if you wanna change uh, the network that you're trying to have on your um, on your wallet, so mine here is a DevNet. So if you go to mainnet, this is the main network. So you cannot get any Solana into that. So if you want a Solana for Dev purposes, you can choose Dev, or if you want them for Testnet, you can choose Testnet. But in this case, we're gonna choose DevNet, and it's already chosen. And then after that, we need to copy the wallet. This is the Solana wallet that I'm uh, that I need, and come paste that wallet right on this space right here and then we're asking for dev devnet uh, this is airdrop for devnet so let's click devnet and it's going to tell you successful airdrop successful airdrop on solana and you can go on the solana explorer and see that transaction loaded once it's confirmed let's go check in a wallet and make sure that we've received uh, the tokens which should be one solana in this case we are unable to connect to solana interesting and what's happening here is it says success so that means it's already been submitted to to the wallet so we should have that in our wallet come here again to the mainnet you should see now we have solana we just received solana in our wallet as you can see here so we have one solana already deposited in our wallet all right the next section that i want to show you guys how to get the solana tokens is on sbl token faucet this is another okay, site that you can use to collect the tokens uh, for development pur purposes just to clarify that one more time uh, but in this case, you you, know, you choose which network you want to get the tokens for. So let's choose again uh, DevNet. And in this case, you don't you, you know you can't paste your address in any of this. So what you need to do is select and connect your wallet. So there's different wallets for Solana. And there's there's also ob other options here, but we're using Phantom. So in this case, so you need to connect, connect to Phantom, and it's going to ask you to you know this I would like to do your wallet balance, request approvals, transactions. So yes. I agree to that and you can ask check devnet balance and you can see you already have one soul and that's the one that we just transferred from um, soul faucet so in this case again let's go ahead and request some more right why not so here it's already defaulted to receive one soul you will need this to pay for transaction fee so you can do that and then requested so successful let's look on the Explorer again and it says success confirmed confirmations okay cool so let's look at the balance. So now you see the balance has changed to two sol. Uh, let's come here and 
uh, see it again on the wallet. So yeah, so now we have two Solana um, tokens in our wallet. And that's just how to do it. And in this case as well, they also have uh, dummy SPL tokens. Um, you know, and in this case, they also have get uh, USDC. If you if you'd like to get some USDC tokens in your wallet, this is another way to do it. Here, let's just do it for the fun of it, right? Since we're already connected. So let's get some day of tokens and sometimes what I've, what I've noticed as well is sometimes especially for usdc it won't show up with uh, with a usdc symbol on the on on solana as a token it will show up like a random number which is not really random in this case so yeah here this is the unknown token right here so it'll, sh it'll show the number but it won't show the the name it won't show like it won't default to it. sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't so that's what it it, it seemed like for me um for the past couple few days so now you see unknown token is there and we have a thousand of it which should actually be usdc but it's fine either ways if you go if you're a developer and you're developing and you see this and you're wondering like will this work because it has like all these numbers yeah it's gonna work as usdc sometimes it does that i haven't understood it either ways it's just play money anyway all right that wraps up this tutorial if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment section below and please hit that like and subscribe button so you can get more content like this from me thank you